Hey, what's up, everybody? Frank Slauson here for another great daily summer vlog. And finally, we're here in my vehicle, alone, not going on any crazy adventures, or I'm not with anybody. I'm just chilling, you know? <laughs> chilling in my Jeep. Uh, well, today, well, well, first, before I talk about what we're doing today, uh, obviously, you see up on the screen, or up on the titles, what we're going to be doing today. But, uh... I want to just let you guys, you know, thank you guys for watching the the videos and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's uh, thanks for even watching the the stuff that uh, Brendan and I did here over the weekend. Uh, we we've been planning it for a little while, and uh, we kind of want to do like remember a long time ago for all you cool Duder fans out there, you know, including myself and everybody. Uh, remember uh, when Sean and MJ did that one around the town adventure or whatnot, and they both took cameras out and they kind of shot their own perspective or whatever on the whole thing. I think they went to see three movies that day. As far as I remember, three films or movies or whatever. And they did a triple feature and, and MJ put, or Sean put his his perspective on, uh, on his channel, obviously. And then MJ put, uh, in three different parts, put his perspective on his channel. And I thought it was kind of neat how they did that, you know, and I, I'd say, well, it'd be kind of nice to do something like that, you know, too, you know, like, you know, via Skype or whatever, you know, I don't own two cameras, so I can't do, you know, have somebody else hold the camera while I'm holding it, you know, holding one camera and holding another camera, I just have this one, but on Skype, you can kind of do, <clears throat> especially if you know people that are on Skype or whatnot, you know, you can, you know, people are interested in doing, like, their own perspectives or whatnot on videos, uh, that's kind of what we, uh, what uh, Brennan and I did. So I want to thank you guys for watching that. And uh, thank you also for watching the Daily Summer Vlogs. And we're almost about done, too. And it's hard to believe. Uh, yeah, the Summer Vlogs have been going very well. Uh, the only thing is that uh, this will be my last new vlog until probably either Saturday or Sunday. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be busy again. Uh, especially with work. Work kind of takes up a lot of my time. I'm at work right now, but I'm on a lunch break. The next few days, I'll be at work, but I won't be, uh, I won't be, uh, you know, able to put a video together because I got too much other shit going on during my lunch breaks and whatnot. And helping a friend burn some music, you know, you know, put some music on a CD for him and all that stuff. And so I got a lot of stuff going on this week. So hopefully you guys forgive me. But what I'm going to do in my absence is finish the interview that I aired last week with the interview I did with Lance Warlock and. Uh, yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoy will enjoy that. And I think now, I'll be soon, I'll be getting over a 1,000 subscribers. I'm at my lunch break. It's in the afternoon, so I don't know how many I got right now. Last time I checked, it was 989 subscribers. I bet you by the time this video gets up, it'll be well over a 1,000. I would, you know, we're getting close anyway. And I hope that that's the start of something big because a lot of people have asked me, they say, well, Frankie, when these daily summer vlogs are over, are you done? Are you over? Is it over? Well, the daily summer vlogs will be over, but, but, uh, but, uh, <laughs> they'll be over, but, uh, my videos won't be, and I only have a month left to make, uh, pretty much a month left to make videos and all that stuff, and, uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully you guys will stay with me with that, but today we're going to do a DVD review on a certain DVD uh, that was made here. It took them took these guys seven took them seven months seven months fuck seven years not seven months seven years to uh, put this together. And what am I talking about? It's the making of a cult classic, the unauthorized story of the Goonies. And it's a very very good documentary. I watched it twice now, and I'll probably watch it again. Uh, it pretty much explains, you know, and I, I think I, I understand the reason why it took a long time to make. Not just because of the locations or whatever, but to get all the people that are out here. These guys, Ron Fugelseth and Pat Ratcliffe, these are the guys who I interviewed back in February 2007. And I have uh, interviewed that interview on my MySpace page. I'm going to put the link down below if you guys want to hear it. Uh, these guys did a very good job on presenting everything. Uh, Words can't describe how how good of a job they did. It's uh, just a 
it's kind of cool that they were able to get everybody that they were able to get. Too bad they couldn't get the whole cast, but you know, it's kind of nice that they were able to release it on the 25th anniversary of the Goonies because this year has just, you know, all these things that have been going on uh, have been great, you know, for the Goonies and, and uh, kind of put their final cap of thing on things here. At the end of the year, they're going to be this is going to be coming out on Blu ray, not this, but uh, the Goonies is going to be coming out on Blu ray finally and it will definitely be worth it but anyway this is about the talk about the the goonies uh from the from the people who were involved with it it's perspective because as far as i know there's been no documentary no professional no war brother made documentary yet that should have been made a long time ago on the goonies besides this this is the only one i've ever seen that's been a documentary or a featurette or whatever uh 